iconic singer Tony Bennett has passed away this morning at the age of 96. Bennett may have left his heart in San Francisco, but his road to fame started in New York. Anthony Dominic Benedetto was born in Queens in 1926. Now his big break came in 1949 when Pearl Bailey asked him to open for her. Sitting in the audience was Bob Hope, who was so impressed that he took the young singer under his wing. Well, he said, what's your real name? I said, Anthony Dominic Benedetto. He said, well, that's too long for the marquee. He said, let's, let's Americanize it and call you Tony Bennett. Taking a chance on Bennett's career spanned seven decades, earning him 20 Grammy Awards. In his later years, he recorded duets with popular artists like Lady Gaga and Amy Winehouse, attracting a younger generation of fans. Some more sad news we're tracking today. The View co-creator and longtime producer for Barbara Walters Bill Getty died today at the age of 68. Ed Getty was also a Coachella Valley resident. A legendary TV news producer's family told Variety that he passed away from coronary related factors. Our Karen Devine spoke with Getty back in 2014 uh, when Barbara Walters retired. And our very own Patrick Evans spoke with him on Eye in the Desert when Walters passed away. Over the course of his career, he earned numerous accolades, including several Emmy Awards. And like many Valley residents, he enjoyed playing at the Mission Hills Country Club, where he was a member. And Patrick, you knew Getty well. He was one of your good friends. You worked with Tony Bennett before. We're so sorry for your loss today. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I had the pleasure of interviewing Tony Bennett. Uh, <laughs> I just pulled up that video. Uh, that was almost 30 years ago. He was performing in Virginia at the time. And we had a lengthy sit-down interview, but he was such a gracious gentleman at the time. He was managing himself, his son was managing, but he was his own road manager. And he just walked out of his limo, walked right up to me, said, well, you're with the TV camera, so you must be Patrick. We have a live interview at 5 o'clock. And, but he came out about 4.30 and sat down next to me, and we just chatted for a half hour. He invited me backstage after the concert. Uh, he was just gracious and a true gentleman and, of course, a consummate performer. I just saw him when he last performed at Fantasy Springs. And turning to Bill Getty... I just did an interview with Bill Getty. We have a podcast, and I'd been asking Bill to come and sit down uh, and talk with us about the state of television. I literally was texting Bill earlier this week on Tuesday. We were talking about having him back on the podcast. He was a brilliant man, and we know him more for the products that he put on television. A lot of he wasn't a public figure per se, but the work that he did with Barbara Walters uh, is some of the best television ever made and the most watched television. And of course, The View is still uh, very much a relevant program today. Uh, he was a pioneer in television in our field, and uh, you know he lived in Rancho Mirage. We would occasionally get together for a round of golf. And he was looking forward to coming back on the podcast. And uh, we, we, uh, I just, I'm still in shock because I found this out this morning. And uh, like I said, I was just texting Bill on Tuesday. Remarkable man, and he left a, both of these gentlemen leave tremendous legacies that will continue long, long after their passing. Yeah, no, it's such a hard loss for so many people. Thanks for sharing those uh, wonderful memories with us, Patrick. Always good to hear.